project of mine. It's a invitation to explore your inner world through the medium of music. Uh, we, it doesn't take any convincing to see that we live in a society that is insanely fast paced and everything is just go, go, go all the time. And the expectation that we place on ourselves is for us to be going all the time. And this plays to the mind's tendency to be overactive, to fry us out, to always be worrying about future anxieties or mulling over things that you know, went wrong in the past. And you know, when we're always caught in that mind state, we lose touch with who we are. We don't experience the simple, calm, peaceful, rooted nature of our being. And my intention with this project is to allow people to sink a little bit beneath that stress mind so that they can get a little bit more touch in touch with themselves, experiencing that part of their being um, and ultimately experiencing more connectedness to each other. silent meditation retreat and uh, during that time you know there was no you couldn't have any reading materials no phone uh, no writing it was basically just you experiencing your thoughts and your inner landscape and this was a crazy dynamic experience for me and um, I faced some really difficult things and in that time you know I had these incredibly deep moments of, of peace and acceptance of myself. And out of those moments, I just started hearing these compositions. I started hearing this sound um, that was, you know, the soundscapes I like to create with the bass guitar. And uh, my good friend, Chris Coles, playing soprano saxophone over top of that. I just, I heard it as clear as day. So I would, I would sit down on my bed in our breaks and just let this music play out in my head. Um, and it felt as clear as if I was writing it down. Um, so it just showed me, you know, when we allow ourselves to get to this place of peace and clarity through a meditative practice, um, a different sort of creativity can arise that can be a really true expression of who we are. seer is a term for you know an ancient term for uh, you know a mystic or an ascended master but really you know that's the lofty side of it but the simple definition is is a seer is is one who sees it is our impartial awareness that through mindfulness practice we form a deeper connection with this awareness and out of that connection arises um, less reactivity, less volatility, um, an increased capacity to empathize our t towards ourselves and towards other people and um, allow us to experience more connectedness. So um, I'm hoping through um, you know, this work and this project that everyone can find the seer within.